Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Also, um, <clears throat> we're gonna take a look at our session scene parents today. If you cannot read, also, um, go on the Discord server down below. If the link expires, uh, ask for another one. Also, uh, follow my Twitter at the peanut white uh, 173 yt And without further ado, let's get on to these. And just like that, facial asymmetry became a vaccine injury. Oh yeah, sure. This is Blank. She was born December 10th, 2018. Blank received her two-month shot on February 20th, 2019. A little over a week after, Blank's mother, Blank, noticed asymmetry in her face. It was crooked. A major sign of vaccine injury slash damage. At the same time, my daughter, Evie, died 36 hours after her six-month shots, and Evie's story went viral. Okay. Blank and her husband heard about it within the first week. Blank has already been skeptical about the shots Blank had received, but it was Evie's story that ultimately made Blank's uh, parents say no more ever again. Blank had her first tonic seizure on the July 7th, 2019. One seizure every three weeks. Genetic testing came back negative. Neurologist was uh, no help. Blank and her husband knew exactly what caused uh, Blank seizures and they started uh, to detox her. Ironically, Blank celebrated see, uh, six months seizure-free this past February 20th. Blank showed serious warning signs and one of those uh, invulnerable infants, and if Blank had continued her shots, her parents think that she would have not made it. This has me in tears typing. Evie's club story truly saved Blank's life. This is why I will never stay silent. Blank's made a uh, wonderful video about Evie's warning signs that we posted on our website. If you're curious or scared parent, please go to the link and down below and watch it. Dude, okay, these things do happen, but not the asymmetry crap. Yo. I need some context here. Okay, see some here. Oh, comment on here says, The sad part is that the girl from the public story died from suffocation from while co-sleeping with the mom. Had nothing to do with the vaccines. Oh, okay, you mother freaking liar, 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 pants on fire. What the heck? See, I I know these things do happen, but they're very, very rare. And even then, even if these things do happen, guess um, guess what? The parents are retarded because they don't take illegal action. Maybe they're a legal immigrant. Maybe have some money, American, you know, take legal action on that. People like these don't take uh, legal action. And yes, these things do die. And yes, I'm sad that the, the kid died due to suffocation. But it was not because of the vaccine. These parents don't know what they're talking about or they're just trying to get likes. That person earned an upvote for me because uh, they posted this retorted thing for me to read. Thank you. Okay, so let's see this one. This one's not insane, so but I'm still gonna read it. My lovely dad explaining to me why my mom yelled at me over FaceTime for following a doctor's prescription order. Your skin does look much better already, so something seems to be working right. Yeah, it seems uh, looking a lot much better. I'm gonna keep on taking the anti-fungals. Uh, yeah, you definitely should. Why did mom get so mad whenever I told her I was taking the drugs or anti-fungals? She gets in moves whenever she freaks out about everything. Plus, it's a misdirected anger. She's pissed at everything these days. Let's see the pandemic. So, it comes out at me and you. I just bounce it off when she just calms down and point out that her anger was misdirected and ask her what really is wrong. It's an ongoing cycle. Just remember, you already know what's best for your body. Okay, yeah. Yeah, this was not insane, but... Yeah. Thanks for this dad for not being a uh, total pee pee head. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. A poopy head. <laughs> yeah. R slash uh young people YouTube. Yeah. All right, next one. Such an understanding mother. The doctor fools me for money. Deepak, you're taking these nonsense pills. I have a CTTH, anxiety and depression, and that's why I'm taking a drug and another drug along with other doses. Oh ho, Janab has depression, stop this nonsense. Uh, 21 year old, you have everything as having depression? Emoji. 
Doctor has fooled you for money. No, no, not just Doctor. Uh, blank, blank, blank. No, it's just Doctor. Emoji. I was, di I was diagnosed by a freaking psychiatrist and not a, a therapist. A psychiatrist is the doctor. Shut up. <laughs> I like this, uh, mom. Just shut up. Yeah, this person didn't even know what to end it off with. Like, oh, I lost. <laughs> shut up. Shut up. You came out of my. You came out of my uh, hole. You came out of my hole. That, 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 shut up. Dude. Next post. My guilt trippy mother is shocked whenever she realizes I don't want to spend time with her during the pandemic. Call me when you're free. Call me please. I'm so heartbroken that you don't even want to spend time with me. Um, it's a pandemic, a time in your life that you can sit and chill with your family. I bet girlfriend wouldn't be allowed to uh, wouldn't be allowed to spend time at home. I'm gutted. I don't want to live anymore. <laughs> There you have it. I'm just unloaded on how you feel, and I don't care. <laughs> Alright. The pandemic kills people, but you- oh, 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 you want suicide. Great. Next post. If my mom just kicked me out, I had to ride my pit by a pit pike. I don't know what that is. Six miles into town, and while I was gathering my stuff out of my truck, she reported it stolen. I have nowhere to go and could only take what uh, could, I could fit in one of my basic training bags. In my lo in my wallet, they want me to bring it in tomorrow so they can work on it. I don't. Uh, they don't have time enough time to work on it today. That's fine, but I want my card. I give. I'll give it back to you tomorrow. Okay, so my wallet. Bring it in here and put it on my dresser. I'll be home in a little bit. And don't steal my truck either. If it leaves the yard, you're stealing. My truck has been reported stolen. I didn't even take it. That's a false police report. Enjoy jail. I'm done with you, Jaren. I can't. Whatever, whatever, whatever. All right now, now it's time for the actual update. Mom, I don't think you're understanding what I'm saying. I didn't choose to stay out. My ride thought it was funny to not show up. And they were and they were supposed to come at 10 and they never did. She chose to leave. That's what that was your mistake. You could have showered and cleaned your room, but you didn't freaking want to. You told me to leave multiple times. Because you're being so unbelievably disrespectful to me. And you have no right to be in this house anymore. Oh, but there you go! No, not one time that I hear an apology out of your freaking mouth for taking care of you for the last 19 freaking years. Not mad. You threatened, uh, you threatened me, the cops. Go the frick up, and you can come home whenever you decide that personal hygiene is a priority, and you feel like apologizing to me. Yo, mom, don't talk to me till then, dude. So you said that you chose to get out, but then admitted that you did it. Dude, who does that? Okay, first of all, falsely accusing. Yeah, enjoy jail. What else? Um, you kicked your kid out. So this appears to be uh. This was also a few hours. Uh, this was a day ago. So it was during the pandemic. What else? What else did you do? Oh yeah, you kicked your uh, your kid out. Oh my. God. God, bro. This mom sucks so bad. You know what? Next post. Next freaking post. An unvaccinated child got an ear infection. It must have been the vaccination behind my back. Bro. First of all, uh, what vaccine is infecting near the ear? It's on your shoulder, I feel. It's on your uh, forearm, something like that. No. It was around there, it's on your arm. But, oh yeah, but it, it goes way the frick up here and infects your ear with some sort of bacteria. Hello all, I highly suspect my mother-in-law had one of my daughters vaccinated without my knowledge. I'm open to any and all ideas to get the truth out. Shaking her into admission to finding out on my own. What the frick, did you, did your daughter say that she got shots? How old is she? No, she wasn't even two at the time. And maybe she didn't. It was just odd that my super healthy unvaxxed baby, the form HFM, that occurred three times in double ear infection, she had a hard time shaking. It's the only thing I could think of. 
oh yeah, it couldn't have been the um other things. I mean, I got an ear infection before. Was I vaccinated recently? No, I was vaccinated like, like a long time ago, uh, beginning of school year, I think. I feel like it was something else, you know, maybe because ear infections are natural. Um, I swim a lot. Well, I'm not good at it, but I swim in a pool. And um, and there's probably some bacteria in there, so it probably got into my ear. And it did. So maybe it was that. And maybe I had an incubation period. I don't know. It's something else. You know, all these things make me want to end the video, like right now. So, uh, I kind of need to stop stuttering a lot. Speech impediment sucks too. I need to fix my English. I don't know how, but I'm gonna find a I'm gonna find a way. Next video. So please like, subscribe, comment, share. All these four things make me uh, motivated to make these videos. Right now, I'm headed for 100 subs. That would be nice for me. That would be nice. It would. So, without further ado, let's end the video. Peace.